G'day, Andrew here from Top Wire Traveller. Um, on a bright, sunny day here on the north coast. I can hardly see, but anyway, we'll be right. This is the new um, smart battery charger from Red Arc Electronics. This one's the, um, they finally released a battery charger, which is great. <clears throat> this one's a 10 amp version. You can get four, six, eight, or 10 amp. We've chosen the 10 amp one because it um, just charges more quickly and it's better for heavy duty batteries like for the truck. It'll um, do batteries up to two, I think it's 225 or 250 amp hours. And this thing's great. It, it's um, Red Arc's combined with a company called DEFA, which is a Scandinavian company. And it's a work of art. I love it. <clears throat> They've got little clips here to store everything. Everything wraps around the body, so undo the clips, which is pretty cool. And then the 240 volt plug slides in the back. You just unwind that. And when you're finished, you wind it all up again, put it away, and it's all self contained. So we'll show you, um, we'll hook it up to a battery. Now obviously if we're going to test a battery charger, we need a battery. So we asked around, we're in a caravan park at the moment, the um, kind people, Brett and Claudia, actually had a spare battery that they lent us, which they ran down with their fridge for us yesterday. So we're going to um, charge this up and see how it goes. So all you have to do is hook up to the positive and the negative terminals, like so. Grab some power. Plug it in. Press the go button. So being a smart charger, this detects what type of battery it is and has a charging profile to suit. So that's, that's charging away there now, happily, and that, that's it. I can just walk away and let it go. And when all the, the four, when the symbols on the battery charger stop flashing, it's done. It's finished. So here's the um, details of the, um, the top of the unit. That's the on on off button. That one there is 14.7. That's um, some batteries require a higher charge, um, a higher I don't know what you'd say charging profile. So you press that button if it's if that's the case. And that's that's clearly stated on the battery if that's the case. <clears throat> this here it's a bit hard to see in this bright sunlight, but as you can see, it's just chugging away. So it's saying it's about. I what 20 40 percent charged which is pushing its way up and the other feature on here is this warning triangle which will come on if um, yeah if you've got your uh, terminals around the wrong way positive on the negative and negative on the positive <clears throat> and it also tells you if um, your battery's collapsed if there's an error with the battery as you can see, the last LED is flashing. That's been flashing for a few hours now. And I believe that's just doing the final charge, <coughs> final top up. It's, um, this battery's probably in a fairly poor state, so it's just restoring it back to as good as it can get it. So there you go, the LED lights have stopped flashing. It's fully charged, it's ready to, um, ready to use. So after a while, this little fella, if you left it connected, will go to sleep for a week. Then it will wake up and, um, and have a look at the battery and see if it needs charging. If not, it'll go back to sleep. Pretty clever. And um, the best part is if you want to leave, it can't overcharge your battery. 
if you want to leave this on for a year, you can leave it on for as long as you like. The charger goes to sleep, fully charges, goes to sleep for about a week, wakes up, checks the state of the battery, and if it needs a top up, gives it a top up. It just does the same thing quietly in the background. Other features, um, reverse polarity protection that comes up with an error and short circuit protection and it checks the state of the battery. If the battery's collapsed, it'll come up with a, a little um, flashing error triangle so you know your battery's no good and you're not wasting your time. Okay, so there it is, we'll see how long it takes to charge and we'll uh, let you know how long it takes from quarter full up to full. Thanks. So there you go, it's all done. Battery's charged, this is packed away. Now this took a few hours to charge this and then it sat um, at open charge for quite a few hours and restored this battery because this battery's had a hard life. It's an old battery out of a diesel um, fall and drive and it's been used to run a fridge so it's been run down way below what it should have been. So this is good as new and ready to go. And I just found out something that I'm pretty excited about with this unit that I didn't know it could do. <clears throat> I won't tell you about it this time because it's a, a video in itself. But um, it's got a handy little function that would be really useful for troubleshooting when you're out in the middle of nowhere. See you later.